Hello, welcome to the Lumathera corporate presentation. The presentation today may contain forward-looking statements. I'm Clark Tedford, President and CEO of Lumathera. I've been involved in the pharmaceutical medical device development for over 30 years. I'm a neuropharmacologist by training, started my career at Sharing Plow Pharmaceutical Company. Been involved in both startup medical device and pharmaceutical companies with two of the companies exiting to the public market. At Omeris, uh, I was co-inventor for Omidria, a cataract combination drug product, and Narsoplamop, a human monoclonal antibody targeting inflammation pathways via the man and binding lectin-associated serum protease 2 or MASP2. Today, we're going to be discussing Lumathera and the Valeda multiple wavelength light delivery system. The Valeda is a targeted light-based approach to stimulate blood flow and energy production at the retinal tissue to treat ocular damage and disease. This non-invasive pharmaceutical approach is being used to create novel treatments for ocular indications. Our focus to date has been on dry age-related macular degeneration. The Valeda provides a versatile device design with a small footprint that sits on an adjustable table and can be used in a small office or exam room. The treatment consists of a four minute procedure per eye and both eyes can be treated in less than 10 minutes. No pupil dilation is required and after the treatments, the patient can go about their daily activities. We stimulate the retinal tissue of the eye over a course of nine short treatments administered over three to four weeks in a very flexible schedule. By stimulating the tissue, we can improve the health of the cells and get benefits in both vision and underlying pathology shows improvements. The repeat treatments can provide extended benefits for up to six months or beyond in some patients. We recommend that follow up at four to six months to determine whether further treatment is needed. This technology is called photobiomodulation and is FDA approved in other therapeutic areas such as arthritis, sports medicine, and other areas to promote recovery, reduce inflammation, and stimulate energy production. As a therapy, photobiomodulation will be required to have repeat treatments over the course of the patient's disease. And the clinical research to support new therapies means that we have to create a blended model that provides a low cost capital investment for the doctors and a treatment fee to support the type and length of clinical trials needed for degenerative eye disease. The model has been validated in commercial use in Europe and South America over the last two years. The model provides a good return on investment for the centers and works with the workflow of the ophthalmology center as well. Dry MD is a slow degenerative disease that results in significant pathology and loss of photoreceptors. Early diagnosis provides an opportunity to move the treatment from a restorative vision treatment to early preventive type of therapy. However, those studies may take years to follow patients and therapy may evolve over the course of time. Similar to the evolution of anti-VEGF treatments or other drug therapies, patients at different stages of disease may be treated differently, and that will require significant research. Lumathera's key regulatory timings and milestones are shown here in the graph. We have had three clinical trials report out positive findings this year. LightSite 1 is published in RET in the top ophthalmology journal. LightSite 2, our European post-marketing study, further confirmed improvement in vision and disease-modifying effects were observed. The electrolyte study provides both vision improvements and quantitative improvements in retinal, electroretinogram, or ERG function. The U.S. pivotal trial, LightSite 3, evaluates the same intermediate dry MD population as in the electrolyte study and is fully enrolled in anticipated FDA approval and launch in late 2022. Finally, early work was presented this year at ARVO in diabetic patients with central involving macular edema and good vision and indicates the potential benefits for PBM in diabetic macular edema and diabetic retinopathy. To illustrate the depth of data supporting the clinical results, the left side picture provides an image of a patient from the light site one trial with two rounds of PBM treatment over one year. The reduction in drusen protein deposition is clear when reviewing the image on the top versus the bottom. The patient gains significant vision in both eye chart and better quality vision with improvement in contrast sensitivity. The case study on the right illustrates a case of epithelial detachment with severe patient vision loss. Following nine treatments with the Valeda, the patient improved 22 letters on the eye chart and significant resolution was seen in epithelial detachment. As part of our commercial strategy in Europe and elsewhere, reimbursement activities are important and a markup model was created. 
The Markov model provides on the right the basic standard care with the natural progression of AMD for both the dry and wet forms. The graphs also show the natural life expectancy starting with a 75-year-old person. The underlying assumptions are based on literature-based studies and NHS hospital data. The left panel shows the benefits of treating patients early with photobiomodulation modeled the results with a four-letter gain in the first year, consistent with the European LightSight 2 clinical trial. You can see the significant delay in reduction in patients have become legally blind due to the Valeda PBM treatments. The Markov model also provides a letter score loss over time in both the basic model and with PBM treatments. The graphs also show the natural life expectancy starting with the 75-year-old person, similar to the age in our clinical trials. The left panel shows a significant delay in vision letter loss in patients due to PBM treatments. The model can be used to provide different scenarios. In this one, PBM was shown to provide a four-letter gain in year one, but reduced benefit in subsequent years. This illustrates how important treating early and the profound benefit one can have by treating early. The delay in losing your driver's license or becoming legally blind can be pushed back by several years. The graph on the right provides a determination of qualities or quality of life measures, the measurement used for reimbursement. The cost effective plane is used to establish benefit versus cost. PBM not only reduces costs from the current standard of care, but provides a strong improvement in quality of life measures. Thus, PBM provides a very favorable reimbursement profile. Lumothera is focused to date on offering the Valeda for dry AMD as we have generated a depth of level one clinical data. We've recruited top US and European key opinion leaders as the early adopters in clinical testing sites. The blended business model provides for a recurrent revenue to the company, a very attractive return on investment to the doctors, and a cost-effective treatment for a global population. We provide a flexible sales model with validation protocols that are expanding globally with established distribution partners in the ophthalmology area. The PBM platform targets ocular damage and disease. We believe that diabetics with retinopathy and macular edema is another strong opportunity for the therapy, particularly those patients with early disease waiting for either injections or laser surgery. The market is over 500 million diabetics globally with an established $12 billion market. Recent work by one of our German sites has demonstrated clinical benefits in early DME and diabetic retinopathy patients. The study showed anatomical benefits and no safety issues out to 16 months of follow-up. In addition to AMD and, and diabetic retinopathy, photobiomodulation may be considered as a potential neuroprotective treatment for glaucoma. Wound repair and other traumatic injury to the eye would represent a further market opportunity. In summary, we believe this treatment is a platform for many ocular damage and disease areas, and we continue to expand the research into those areas. I want to thank you very much for allowing us to present the Lumathera platform.